Yo what's up guys, can you believe 2024 is almost over? This year has been an incredible ride with so many amazing DIY projects. In today's video, I am taking a look back at my top 3 creation of the year, projects that were fun to build and packed with creativity. So let's jump right in. The first one is this amazing looking pair of desktop speakers. I started with a 1 square foot sheet of 4mm plywood and cut it using my Atomstack A24 Pro laser engraver. While it's an engraver, it can cut wood of this much thickness easily. Here are the cutouts. If you would like to recreate this project, I have included the templates in the description. Each speaker unit requires 18 pieces in total. So after cutting the initial two pieces, I repeat the process for the rest. Once all pieces were ready, I carefully glued them using wood glue. After gluing all the pieces together, I inserted toothpick into the alignment holes to ensure everything perfectly positioned. Then I added some weight on top to press the pieces firmly while the glue dried. After giving it sufficient time, the enclosure was ready. For the sides, I decided to add transparent panels. I used a 3mm clear acrylic sheet for this. Since I don't have CO2 laser cutter, I made a custom jig and carefully cut the acrylic sheet using wood trimmer. The side panels turned out great. Now let's talk about the drivers. I'm using 3 inch full range drivers from Hebe Audio which you can find through the best buy link in the description. After selecting the drivers, I created cutouts in the enclosure using a wood trimmer. Next I applied the foam padding that comes with the driver to seal them in place. To ensure the enclosure is airtight, I needed similar foam padding on both sides of the structure. I used a foam sheet for this and cut it with my laser engraver. Finally I secured the foam in place with glue making the enclosure fully airtight and ready for use. Now let's install the driver and side panels to complete the build. Unfortunately, I couldn't find high quality speaker terminals in the local market so I'm using budget friendly option for now which I plan to replace later. And just like that, our very own DIY speakers is ready. They turned out fantastic and can easily stand out compared to standard desktop speakers. Let's put them to the test. Time to play some music and check out the sound quality. Okay, the sound quality is impressive, crisp, clear vocals paired with a satisfying amount of low end. These speakers truly deliver a decent audio experience. Now before moving on to the next idea, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor LTM365, the world's first open electronics hardware development platform for secure real-time collaboration on your project. Whether you are managing your design files, collaborating with team members or sourcing parts from over 300 distributors, LTM365 has got you covered. It integrates seamlessly with eCAD and MCAT tool allowing you to design the future from anywhere. And if you are a student, kickstart your electronic design career with LTM Student Lab. Get free access to LTM Designer and LTM365, collaborate with your friends and earn a certificate recognized by top industries in India. Boost your skills and build your resume all for free with your university email. Start now, turn your learning into real opportunities. Click the link in the description to get started. Coming back to the video, here's my second favorite DIY project, a two player retro game. This project will need a microcontroller, a display and two potentiometers. First I started by prototyping the project on a breadboard. If you would like in-depth guide on this project, be sure to check out the full videos on my channel. I'll also include the links in the description for easy access. 
Once the connections were completed, it was time to upload the codes. Here's the code I used and after uploading it, the project came to life. Playing with this setup was so much fun and I couldn't wait it to take it to the next level and turn it into a handheld device. So I designed and 3D printed all the body parts using my 3D printer. And with everything ready, it was time to assemble the project. Alright guys, the project is complete and I can't wait to play. Now invite your friend or family member and enjoy the game. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this project or have any suggestions. For my final project idea, I choose this unique desk fan inspired by a jet engine. Here's how I brought it to life. First, I built a PWM controller using an Arduino Nano to control the motor speed. For the motor, I choose a brushless motor from a racing drone, paired with an electric speed controller. Once the electronics were ready, I begin with the connections to ensure everything was working perfectly. And as you can see, everything is working perfectly. The motor is spinning fine and I can control the speed. Next I moved on to the 3D printing phase. This time I used JLCPCB only in 3D printing service which is fantastic option if you don't own a 3D printer. The printed parts turned out great with excellent precision and quality. With all the components ready, I begin the assembly process. To make the fan even more practical, I decided to make it rechargeable, so I designed and built a custom 3S battery pack to power up the fan. So guys, this year has been an incredible journey for me both personally and creatively. I achieved so many milestones that I'll cherish forever from exploring new ideas to creating videos that reflect my passion for DIY and innovation. None of this would have been possible without your support. I would love to know what was your favorite video of this year. Your feedback means the world to me and inspires me to keep improving. With that being said, our desk fan is ready. Let me know in the comments how it turned out. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more exciting DIY projects. 
Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care, stay creative and happy new year.